What is going on guys, we are back with more World Cup, we got Jade playing for US East, Seoul playing for Spain, I did just upload the first game for the series, were between PDC and Poik, so yeah, this is the second game, World Cup semi-finals, so this is black and white, and I was really hoping that I would not see, I just said this and called him my man Padlop, I really hope that no one brings Duck Trio plus Ninetales, because like these type of teams are so weird. And I don't really like watching them because like the games take a bit longer. But he has a Cresselia too, so like this team concept is basically you get rid of um, opposing Tyranitar and Heatran. And then your Cresselia like puts in a lot of work. And in the sun Cresselia hits like 75% with Moonlight. So that's why it's, that's why it's important with Duck to get rid of Tyranitar. Because in Sandstorm Moonlight heals like nothing, but in Moonlight in the sun it heals like a lot. So like it's basically to win the weather war with Dougie, get trapped the T. That's why the Dougie's on the team. Fortress is for rapid spin, obviously. He does not have a spin blocker in Jellicent. Um, like Jellicent is like one of the spin blockers that come to mind for like for me, someone who doesn't play that much black and white. That's just the one thing that would came to mind, come to mind as a spin blocker. But yeah, let me look at Jade's team. So it looks like Hazard stack. He also has his own spin and Excadrill, but that actually actually traps. Oh my lord, he also traps the drill. Dactree can potentially trap all these three. I guess he could be Balloon Trend. But if he's Balloon Trend, that. I mean, the Balloon can get bopped. So, Ninetales. Okay, okay, I don't know what happened there. I thought Ninetales. So, probably um, Ninetales cannot Oko this, and he was just scared out. I thought that. Yeah, Jet was potentially fearing a Will Wisp. I don't know if they carry Will Wisp, but the Protect play makes a lot of sense. So this is probably gonna be like um, I don't know what they carry, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be spikes and rapid spin. Not sure about the other two moves. If it's gyro ball, volt switch. If it's um, gyro ball and something like toxic. He does have a chance. He's so that screaming that he probably has heal ball on that. And hmm. yeah, I think it's gonna be spikes. This like we just saw the spike and probably rock strand. Toxic or T-Wave Chansey with Soft Bolt, Seismic Toss and Heal Bell, I guess. That's just what I'm thinking. And, uh, I mean, maybe he's not common, but I think he's common, Chris, on this team, right? So this is just exchanging hazards. We do see this Rocks Feral Thorn. So, uh, if it's not, unless it's double hazard, Feral Thorn, he doesn't have spikes. Yeah, he could be double hazard. I think we saw that yesterday in Classic, if I recall correctly. I don't know if Solo wants to spin immediately. He does spin and he gets rid of the Leech Seed. And yeah, the leftovers obviously help the Fortress to counteract the chip damage that he takes from the Iron Barbs. He gets up all three layers. Yeah, okay, so two turns of um, two rounds of lefties just get rid of the damage that he takes if he rapid spins. So it's not that bad. Rapid spin has way more PP, obviously. Than rocks. So you can just always spin them away. Yeah, so it's it is ha it does double hazard. Okay, he does reveal this. This is speed time. Wow, is it? Seventy six forty. That's weird. Is he running speed on his Ferrothorn? Yeah, it's a speed time. That's weird. Cause the the fortress was fast and then the Ferro was faster, right? No, fortress was faster the last two turns. But Ferrothorn was faster on turn four. But yeah, I think that Cresselia can definitely win this. Cresselia can definitely win this game. So I don't know 100% what Cresselia runs. It's like, I assume it's Calm Mind Moonlight or Calm Mind Rest. And then, but I say Moonlight when you have Sun Support, obviously. And then it's like um, either Ice Beam and Psychic Step or Psychic Step and Hidden Power Fighting. But Hidden Power Fighting doesn't make much sense because he has a Dougie to get rid of Tita. But that's just what I'm thinking as a black and white, uh, as someone that doesn't play black and white. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the fortress is getting chipped down. Um, um, if he has pain split, Solvent actually doesn't care if he gets chipped down because if he is like at this range, he can just pain split. I don't think they carry pain split though. Like that, the re he keeps rapid spinning, which makes me think that he might have pain split because otherwise this is weird. Or maybe he has wish pad on his Chansey. I don't think he has, but this is just 
I'm just trying to say, um, to explain why he keeps spinning. Like, yeah, I know that you don't want hazards on your side, but like, um, I would probably just click spikes on the turn that, because Jet goes for hazards anyway. Because on that turn that you go for spikes instead of spinning, you get more leftovers back and you don't take iron burps. So yeah, I would probably just spike some turns if I was solvent to get some lefties back. He does switch out finally. Any Heatran. Yeah, the, the Sun obviously benefits Heatran to boost up the fire moves. And the chance he's probably there to take on stuff like... Special water move from the opponent. Oh. But Kaldio, yeah, Kaldio is actually a threat to the theme. Other than the Cresselia, Kaldio kind of destroys this team. And yeah, Nantes is obviously can get up the Sun to like help versus killed. But you still don't want to switch that in. So if it is if it's balloon turn, it's nice for Jade because it doesn't take spike damage damage if it switches in and it cannot get um touched uh, by off power basically as long as it's on a balloon. Well, it cannot get hit by off power, what I should have said. And he does take he does take um the spike, so he's not balloon. Is he lefties? He's lefties, okay. So Jade is probably really confident that he's like max speed. He's probably max speed off power or something, because he's like really confident that he can just bring this in and beat the opposing trend one on one. I mean it makes sense that Sowin's trend probably doesn't have off power because he has a doggy <clears throat> to get rid of steel types like Heatran. Uh Excadrill and Tita. But yeah, mainly Heatran and Tita obviously. Yeah, I don't really know what leftover C2 carries in black and white. Let me actually try. What does the Kalk say? Let me see, it's spit death. So it could be Lava Boom, Protect, Raw Toxic. What other sets does it have? I mean, I know this is just a calculator, but I'm a black and white noob. I'm just trying to figure out. Um, substitute could be an option with Earth Power and Toxic. Magma Storm is actually going to do a lot to the the chance if he goes for that like I really don't think Thorin would have earth power like I said when it with a Dougie on the same team so Thorin oh what the heck is going on Thorin just sacks his Heatran so Thorin is willing to sack his Heatran to trap the opposing Heatran with a duck trio um maybe he breaks the double switch I'm not sure but I think he was just willing to sack his Heatran to trap the opposing Heatran that's what I'm thinking yeah yeah tactical sack exactly and we already know this is lefty, so it can't be Scarf, so the Dougie is just gonna kill this with an Earthquake here. And that is step one of Cresselia being super annoying for Jade. Step two would be getting rid of Tyranitar. So it's 5-5. Five, five. So Jade is probably gonna go into the Gliscor or the Lari here. Like one of those, these two, they both don't take spikes damage and you can't really do much to them um, and he obviously wants to keep the Dougie so he's not gonna sack it was this a potential scarf lari or like in general like in general this is um probably can't kill the lari even if the lari isn't scarf yeah so i'm thinking he's probably gonna go gliscor um, but yeah, Ladi, nah, Ladi obvious go. If Ladi has HP fire, can bop the fortress. I mean, not that fortress is a switch into Draco Meteor because it's at like 40 something after rocks and spikes, or maybe maybe it's even lower. Um, chances could be a switch in, especially if this is not specs. I think the choice Ladi's most of the time they carry like three attacks and then sleep talk in the last slot. It's like, it's like, I don't know the exact moves they carry, but I know they can carry um, like Draco and Surf. I don't know if they run Psyshock or Psychic more often. But yeah, Thorwin is not gonna stay in here. Yeah, he wants to keep this, the Fortress, he can still... He's probably gonna attempt to spin later on, so... <laughs> this is... A I don't really know what I would do here. Yeah, I was I was about to say either Chansey or, or Cresselia. Yeah, he does have Surf. I just talked about the deck carry Surf sometimes. He's Life Orb, okay. So we know that Jade's team, we didn't see a Scarfer yet. So it could be Scarf Excadrill or he just doesn't have a Scarfer. 
I'm not sure how common Scarf Tita is. Let me see. Scarf Tita is a thing? Yeah, Scarf Tita is a thing, but don't think it's that common. But the chance is probably just gonna go for soft bolt slash. If he's confident that a Tita comes out, he can double, but yeah, he's not gonna. Jet is not gonna go Tita. So this Gliss score is Taunt, Protect, Earthquake, and what is the last move? Um, I know in Auras they run knockoff for utility, but in black and white I have no idea. What does Gliska carry in black and white? Gliscor. I know that Subtoxic is a set, but he just revealed Taunt. So it could be this set, Earthquake, Ice Thing. With Taunt and instead of Roost he has Protect. Yeah, he could be Ice Thing in the last slot for stuff like Landris, Opposing, Gliscor, Guard Chomp. Because this team looks somewhat weak to guard from yeah. I mean, it's not like he needs Ice Fang. Like, Earthquake probably beats guard from 1 on 1 2. But if guard has like an SD, I'd be one Ice Fang to do more damage. I can see that. Um, but it's, I'm probably just completely wrong here. I don't know the black and white here, so I shouldn't try to. <laughs> shouldn't try to figure out the set when I don't know. But I'm gonna assume that Ice Fang and Earthquake are the last two moves for now. Uh, it could also be Earthquake and Toxic. But yeah, this is a pretty much. F if he has Toxic, this is pretty. This is a nice position for Jade. Because this Glisco is like so annoying for Solwyn. Fortress also doesn't want to switch him, it has its up. Um, if he has the rest on Crest, which I don't think he has, he can still get taunted by this. Yeah, the Crest might have Ice Beam because he seems super weak to Glisco now that I look at this. I'm not sure yet. So he doubles out on the Pharaoh Thorn, yeah that's the crest, so that's probably screaming that he has Ice Beam, right? Because if he goes out into this, otherwise he wouldn't beat the Glisco without Ice Beam, I'm pretty sure. If he had like Hidden Power Fighting and Psy Shock, or Psychic, and Calm Mind and Moonlight. But yeah, like I said earlier, with the Dagi on a team, you won't have Hidden Power Fighting. Probably. But yeah, I can see him just going for a Leech Seed here, Jade. Um, either going for a Leech Seed or doubling out on the Prit in the Fortress. Um, but I think probably Lichi is a better play. <clears throat> he doubles into Tita. The reason the reason this is like not that bad. Okay, he goes for Ice Beam. <clears throat> so if this is banned, he's gonna pursue it. But the problem with um, like Solon basically can try to stack off his fortress later in the game, not at this point, but later in the game, and then trap this with Dougie. Let's see if he's banned at pursuit. He is a sandstorm, so was the Exodus mode break? I didn't pay attention. Did the Exodus even come out yet? I don't think it, the Exodus came out yet. Probably mode breaker or sand force Exodus drill. Because if Tita <coughs> has sandstorm, you cannot be sand rush drill. I've seen in World Cup Blurry used uh, unnerved Tita or something like that. I forgot how the ability is called, and then he had a sand rush drill on the same thing. Because Tita cannot have this um, sand rush ability. Like Excadrill can't have Sandrush with Tita with Sandstream on the same team is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> yeah. If he's Bandit, he's definitely clicking Pursuit here, I would say. I mean, he could also click Crunch, but if he clicks Crunch, Solon can sack off the Fortress and then trap this with a Duggy, so that would be bad for him. So he tries to sack off the Fortress and it probably worked out because he didn't Pursuit yet. Oh, Crunch is resisted, my bad, guys. Yeah, Crunch is resisted in Gen 5. Gen 5 mechanics. Um, still resists Dark and Ghost in Gen 5. I mean, I know everything in theory about... I know these mechanics in theory. But I just haven't played the tier, so it's like not that obvious to me that the Crunch is going to be resisted to this. Even though I know the basic information. But yeah. I think Solon is just going to rapid spin here. Yep. <clears throat> and he obviously wasn't trying to kill the... Fortress. So I can understand the the, the crunch play then. Um, if Fortress resists the move. But on the other side, Pursuit would have been really nice there. It would have rocked out really nice for Jade. Damage on the Cresselia would have been amazing for him. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking this is potentially. This should be Scarf Drill, right? Because his team is just slow. If it's not Scarf Drill, I guess his team is just slow and relies on bulk. Uh, the crunch from the Tita did how much to the fortress? 
Eleven percent. Okay, maybe that's not bandit. Uh, maybe it's scarf tar. Fortress versus Tyranita. Are you choice scarf? Okay, so it could be scarf tar because it does ten to twelve to max defense fortress. Okay, okay it's probably scarf tar then. I mean, I'm not sure if it's scarf, but it's definitely not bandit. And I'm thinking it's scarf. Um, so nine tails. Outspeeds Excrural unless Excrural is Scarfed, and if Excrural is Scarfed, it just locked himself with a rapid spin. So I think Solomon can just go for the fire move here. Um, but there's obviously the mind game. There's obviously the mind game that the Cheetah could come out. And Solomon obviously doesn't want to lose his nine tails to the Cheetah because then he would lose the Weather War. So maybe the smarter play for Solomon is switching out. Switching out into what? Maybe into Fortress? Like if Excrural stays in and goes for Earthquake, switching out into Fortress is not the play for Solomon. Because I think he wants to keep the fortress and sack it to the Tita later to um, trap the Tita with the Dagi. I don't think Jade is Scarf Drill, but if he's Scarf Drill, he could sack off his drill to get rid of the spikes. The spikes are definitely annoying. Um, but his most important one, which is um, Gliscor, and doesn't really care about. Because like his Tita is just going to get trapped eventually. And even if he doesn't get trapped, if Spikes stay up, his Tita is just going to get worn down so fast. So he kind of has to get rid of them, right? <clears throat> now, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. Like, Gliscor is nice for Jade, but Jade has to get the... Um, has to get the Cresselia low. Or has to get rid of the Cresselia with a Titar. But it's obviously not gonna. Thorin is not gonna make it easy for him. Like how I see it, I think Thorin is gonna win this game with. Um, he just flames through us, okay. If Jade went into, into Tita there, um, he could have trapped this with Pursuit. But Pursuit might not kill this. Because if Pursuit doesn't kill this, then um, Thorin probably wins the Weather War. Um, yeah, yeah so if it's Scarf type, Pursuit is not gonna kill the Ninetales. Let's say he's offensive nine tails. Yeah, pursuit. Oh my god, that did nothing. That does nothing. What? Oh, if he switch. Yeah, if he switches, it does fifty-eight to seventy. Okay. Okay, my bad. So that makes a lot of sense why someone made that play and just flamethrower because he can live a pursuit from the tar, and then he still has this li alive. Because it's really important to keep this alive. Because if he loses this, then he loses the Weather War, and then his Cresselia then doesn't heal anything with Moonlight. That's just what I'm thinking, that his Cress is Moonlight. I said this multiple times at the beginning, if I recall correctly. So Chansey is just gonna wall this Lari. Even Psyshock won't do enough. <clears throat> so Jade is gonna go Gliscor slash... Oh, Excadrill, wow. So he really wants to get this Rapid spin off. So he's willing to sack his Excadrill to get the spin off, is what I'm getting from this. I thought he would go Gliscor. I feel like Glisco just Glisco just doesn't care about seismic toss because of the poison heal. But there's the spin, there's a seismic toss, probably pick off the drill, yep. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> but yeah, this shows again Ductrius like a stupid Pokemon. Like the the ability arena trap is just I don't like how it affects how you have to play. And it's it's a really big problem in Gen 7 too at the moment. I hope we're gonna retest uh, Arena Trip. They're gonna retest the Arena Trip eventually, hopefully, or just quick ban it. That would be the dream if they would just quick ban it. Because um, some people wanted no ban the last time, because the test was for Duck Trio, not for Arena Trip as a whole. And then th uh, it's just weird. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Thorn is gonna go back to Crest. We already have figured this out. So uh, Crest is a switch in for this. And can scare us out with Ice Beam. Uh, so Jade might double in the Tita, break in the Crest, but that didn't work out. He just goes for Taunt. Um, that wouldn't have worked out for him if he doubled in the Tita, is what I'm trying to say. So like my prediction there was complete wrong. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I understand Jade's playing Taunting. 
But if he gets if he goes into crest on the taunt there. I feel like that puts Jade in kind of a bad spot because I'm um, so from there he could have like made an Like I know Jade still has his Tita in the back, but like Tita is getting chipped down. And so one can then attempt to sack his fortress again. Um, when the Tita comes out and then try to trap try to trap the Tita with a doggy. So Chansey being taunt is doesn't really matter in this matchup because the only thing it matters for in this matchup is that it can't softball, but yeah, it's not gonna stay in. So the Leech see this because if the Chansey stays in, he's gonna get so much health back, but it was obvious that the Chansey wasn't staying in there because um, the Chansey doesn't beat Ferrothorn, it takes um, Iron Barbs if it goes for Seismic Toss, and Leech Seed kills Ferrothorn way more back than Chansey can do damage with Seismic Toss. And yeah, Jade is gonna go for... what? I thought he would go for a Hazard. I thought Jade would go for a hazard before he switches, but he didn't. But yeah, Thorin's probably gonna go back to Chansey here. Pretty sure Chansey can lift two side shocks from the range it's at. Um, if it's max defense Chansey, that is. I don't know the Spadef spread. Uh, I haven't really used Spadef Chansey ever. When always when I use Stall, I always use the Fist Def. Yeah, I use this spread always. Two, two, I use this like two forty eight. And what does the Lari Psyshock, a life orb. Psyshock does 32 to 78, that's laughable damage. So it doubles in the Pharaohs on breaking the chance, a really nice play. He's gonna leech again here, and he misses, that's annoying for him because chip damage on Ninetales is nice. This has protect, so that's probably for a scout. Yeah, I think protect is for choice lock Pokemon on the Ninetales. To find out if they go for Crunch or Pursuit. Really nice double into the Fortress to get some extra leftovers back. And he can just now bring in his Chansey again. So he's... Um, the thing is, he do maybe he doesn't really want this healthy. Because if this is low, um, he wants this in range from the Tita. Because if this dies, he wants... Like, he wants to sack this to the Tita later on. To trap, the trap the Tita with a doggy. So I'm not sure if he wants the lefties on the Fortress. But yeah, nice double again by Jade. And the spikes doesn't matter that much with Lefties and Lead Sheet, as long as he hits his Lead Sheet this time. But yeah, I'm thinking the ninth is I don't know if it's revealed yet, but I think it's Leftovers if it has Protect, because then that will um, give you the... Um, the Protect would help him in getting Leftovers back, and it would help him in scouting for Choice Left Mons. Stuff like Tita, if it goes for like Pursuit, you can just stay in if you know it's Choice. So that's really helpful in that sense. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if someone is like trying to PP throw this leech, leech sheets. But yeah, you guys can see that's what I said at the beginning. I wasn't really happy when I saw this uh, Fire team with trapping and everything. Like, the game is gonna take a while, it's already 23 minutes. But it's fine. Like I said, like I feel like um, Corselia is gonna come through for Solwind. Because he's gonna eventually... I think eventually there's gonna be an opportunity for him to trap the Tyranitar. But we shall see what happens. Yeah, so Jade's Rapid Spinner is already dead, so this is really smart by them um, solving to get up the hazards. Even though they only affect um, two Pokemon <laughs> that are left. Um, I think Solon is gonna switch here. Keep this as fodder. Uh, he could also Rapid Spin, he could also Rapid Spin. But the rocks are gonna go back up anyway the next turn. And his fortress is super low, it's not like he can keep spinning. Because um, if he spins here... If he spins here, he cannot spin again, because I think he would die to the next rapid spin from the barbs. And if you die to rapid spin from the iron barbs, I don't think you get rid of the hazards. This... oh, okay, misses. Uh, I don't think that... has. I don't think that makes a huge difference. Oh, that makes a difference, I think, yeah. Because it, it makes a difference, because that would have done 2%, right? If that would have done 2%, he would have died to, to the Iron Bobs, and I don't think he would have gotten rid of the rocks. So let me count that real quick if it would have done. I think it would have done 2%, right? Ferrothorn, oh, you standard versus uh, Fortress. Yeah, yeah, I would have done 4 to 5%. So I think the rocks would have been here this day. But Fortress dies to rocks now anyway, but Solon has an extra fodder. So the next time Jade is in with Tita, he's, he has to double, probably. Because um, Solvent is gonna sack his fortress to the rocks, uh, potentially to the Tita next time, to get in the Dagi and trap it. Um, yeah, I can see Solvent just. 
going to either the Cresselia or the Chansey here. Or just clicking Protect, but that's not really a point in clicking Protect because Jet breaks the Protect and goes for Recover. You don't gain anything for, um, if you're Solvent. And you're already at full, so it's not like you gain leftovers. It's not like this is Choice Locked, so you gain, it's not like you gain anything for Protecting. So it's probably the Chansey slash Lari uh, Crest coming out here. And yeah, Jet's Ferrothorn is really annoying for Solvent. <laughs> Especially now that the rocks are here to stay, um, his Night Lights can't keep coming in forever because it takes like 25%, right? Every time it comes in. So he does protect. I don't think there was a point in doing that, but I guess it works. Uh, he doesn't lose anything from it either in case Jet pulled a double. Mm. But pretty sure someone is going to switch now to one of these two. Oh, it's like the Fortress, but I really think he wants the Fortress for later as fodder um, versus the Titar to then trap it with a Dougie. And that Cresselia becomes a huge problem. Um, he still has Ferrothon, which is annoying for the Cress. So losing Heatron for Solwind is... Um, uh, I, don't wanna th I don't know if I, uh, if I want to say big deal is the right term for this. He still has the, the Ninetales, but the Ninetales cannot come in forever on the Ferrothon thanks to Stealth Rocks and potential Leech Seed on the switch in. So this is going to get worn down pretty fast. And even if it was left, he's like... Imagine he flamethrower there. Jed um, is playing this really well. He's uh, trying his best to come back. I like... I like how he's been playing around so far. Like, he hasn't gotten his Tita trapped yet. He hasn't allowed someone to take control, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Um, like, this game is not over yet. Okay, Jade's time is really low. He's probably just gonna leech seed here. So this is what I was talking about. Okay, spikes. That makes sense too, because this um, fortress is already. Dead. This is what I'm talking about. This is getting worn down by the rocks, and n okay, he misses a Willowist. That's really annoying for Solvent. So now he's definitely gonna protect to get his extra leftovers recovery. If he's not at full, he's always gonna protect. Um, I think yeah. Uh, the Lottie might go. He might go for recover, but he didn't protect here to flex. Or like no, no, not to flex, just to get it back to full. Because the protect is like pretty obvious here, so he just drag out. Okay, I thought he would have protected there. Um, I mean, yeah, with lefties and everything. Now the Snipe has healed back pretty much the rocks, but the next time it has to take rocks plus spikes, and Jet can go for leech next time. So this is, has to take way more damage. It can just not keep up. Like it cannot stay healthy for the entire game with hazards and leech sheet. And Ferrothon just enjoys or like. Um, how do I say this in English, man? I only know the German word sometimes. I have like a... Oh. Feral Thorn appreciates uh, leftovers plus leech seed recovery a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, this is the the spice plus the rocks is really nice. Because to... Chansey, um... Chansey is getting 2 killed now. It cannot switch into Ladi anymore. So I think someone is forced into Cresselia here. Um, I'm, wa I'm wondering how much a Draco for Maladi would do to a Chris. Uh, all your life or versus Chris. I think they run fifth step if they call mine. Um, all your defensive. Draco does 53 to 62. Wow. So maybe he doesn't want to switch in because um, after Rocks he's at 82 and then he takes a Draco on top of that, which would let's say he does like 55 if he gets a mid uh, like low roll. So this would be at like 30 something, so it could barely live that. And then... Jade might potentially go into Tita, operating the... Yeah, okay, so he sex his... I think he had to make that play, yeah. Because... Hard to Crest would have been, like, he would have been too low. And he could have, Jade could have potentially gone into Tita then on the Moonlight and then he would have healed nothing. Mm, but that still would have been some 50-50s. If he kept the fortress alive, because then if uh, Jade goes for pursuit on the crest, um, the crest that switches out and he sacks the fortress, then the Tita gets trapped. But yeah, um. Hmm. I think, like earlier, I was thinking someone had this game, but I'm not sure anymore, because um, Spikes plus Rocks and Lead Sheet is really annoying for him, and also, as long as this Ferrothorn is healthy, the Cresselia doesn't just win uh, even though it probably beats the, the Ferrothon one-on-one because of the 
If he's at plus six, I think Ice Beam will do a good amount to the Ferrothorn. I'm trying to count that right now to find out if he could beat that one on one. Let's just say plus six. Yeah, Ice Beam would do 44 to 53. So that's that's an okay amount of damage. Yeah, I think Jet can potentially beat the Crest. So there is the Nine Tails. This is what I'm talking about earlier. Uh, has to take hazards, has to take leech seed. Uh, now he can't even protect to get recovery back as long as he's leech seeded. I don't think this would run moonlight. That's probably not a set. And probably solar beam in the last slot, right? Like I don't know what they run in black and white. I just know what they run in auras. Uh, yeah, it says solar beam or HP eyes here. Another offensive set. I guess he could be the defensive set, which is this one here. Raw, I guess Raw could be an option. Oh, Sunny Day, well, wow. Sunny Day is an option too. But uh, I'm still thinking it could be uh, Solar Beam. But yeah, I want to calc Ferrothorn with Chris. How much power up does on top of the other calc that I did? Okay, this is 70. You think Ferrothorn beats this one on one, right? It uh, depends on the weather war. If Jade can get the sand up, it's pretty bad for Solar. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I know that I said earlier that Solar is probably going to win in the end, but like. Pretty sure that Jade turned this around. Getting rid of Fortress was big. I don't like how Solvin kept rapid spinning with his Fortress when he knew that the Ferrozon was going for hazards every turn. I think he could have at least tried a few turns, like early in the game. He could have at least tried a few turns to um, go for like his own hazards or something that's not rapid spin so he doesn't take iron buff so he gets some more leftovers back um there's the drago meteor doing a lot so this is potentially a roll now i'm pretty sure the crest lifts the crest lifts so i'm wondering if um jade would go in a teeter here to activate the sandstorm because then the cresselia would i think only heal 25 percent right like around here because if you moonlight and there's the sun up you get just get buff, go back to 99 or something or just get just get back to full not 99 but if Tita comes in there, it only hits a little bit. So if someone would predict that and double into Dougie, get the Tita on a switch, it would be like a dope play. Hmm. And Jet is probably calking, but I'm um, pretty sure he knows. Like, he maybe he doesn't have to calk, it's a pretty obvious. Like, Dra that 55, so it was like... I think that was a lower roll. I think I've called to it that it could do 50-something to 60-something. Like, if you jade here, you either go into um, Tita or you go into Ferrothorn, right? Because um, this is at minus two, and unless you hope for the max roll, you go, can go for it, but I don't think it kills. And maybe max roll kills, but I don't think even that would kill. And Glisco is obviously not the play, because this goes back to full mo moonlight if you go Glisco, and Ice Beam threatens the Glisco. So it's either Tita or Ferro, like I said. So we shall see here. He does decide to go Tita. Did he make the double into Dagi? That would have been a fire play, dude. Oh, he did make the double into Dagi. There we go. This is why this is why we watch World Cup of Pokemon. So he does get <laughs> He does get rid of the Tyrant and he rid of Dagi. And the last mon that annoys the Cresselia now is the Ferrothorn and also the Glisco, obviously. Like, the, 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 the Cresselia has to come in on the Ferrothorn to heal up, is what I'm trying to say. Because, um, Glisco has Taunt, and Ladi will obviously kill it from the range it's at. It's like at 21 after rocks. So, Jade is gonna go Ladi slash Glisco here, I think. And then, I think Thoman can sack this Dagi now, because the Dagi doesn't do anything at this point. So, if he has Toxic on this Dagi. He could potentially toxic the Ladi, so I don't think Jay wants to go into that, so he's probably gonna go into the Glisco then. Glisco. The Glisco doesn't take any spikes damage, and the Glisco also prevents the Crest from healing, which is like. which is what he wants. I mean, everything. Um, okay, Ferrothon is interesting because if he kills the Dougie, this lets the Cresselia heal, even though he only heals 25% because of the Sandstorm. So Solvent did just win. Solvent did just win the Weather War, which means because his Nine is still alive, 
So he does go into nine tails. He's willing to sack off his nine tails. Um, to I think the power whip is coming here. Okay, spikes. Okay, spikes. Makes sense to thirty with power whip. But yeah, she this time he hits the will o on the Lari. Uh, he's gonna protect here, I guess, to get more health, or maybe not because Jade might recover. Oh my lord, Solomon is too good. Because now he gets his nine tails a bit more healthy. Um, he's still in range from rocks and spikes, but he already won the weather war. Like the sand is, the sun is back up. The sand is, the teacher is dead, so the sun, sand is not coming back. Hmm. Um, Jade is definitely not going for Draco Meteor because he doesn't want this at minus two. Because then the crest gets to heal. Um, like I'm not hundred percent sure if the crest would beat the Pharaoh one on one. But plus six ice beam is a good chunk, and if the moon level really heals 75 in the sun, which it should do, then Crest might beat Pharaoh 101, even though Moonlight only has 8 pp, and he would, if um, Power Ray plus Leech would be really annoying for Solvent, but that's definitely not, like he can definitely win it with the Crest now, if, if, he, if he gets to heal his Crest, that is. So he went for Surf, I thought he might go for Psyshock, I don't really know what Surf does over Psyshock. Uh, I, he didn't reveal his last move yet, so we're not sure if it's Psyshock, maybe it's a hidden power. My bad. Thought you already revealed it. So now this is at 32, which means it still dies to hazards. Yeah, pretty sure it does. So I guess he's gonna try to get another protect here. Not sure. Because there's is there there's not really a point in switching out because he dies to hazards anyway. Um, unless he just wants to sack the doggy and I I don't think it makes a difference. He's probably gonna try to protect to get more health. I don't think Jet is gonna recover and allow this nine tails to get healthy. Yeah, there's the there's the serve, there's the dead nine tails. He did not go for recover. It's, that would have been a miss a mistake, because then he would have gotten more lefties and another protected more lefties. So he's gonna go chancy and he's gonna soft bolt up and Jet is either gonna recover or go into his uh Ferrothorn here. To throw up a leech seed. Um either th to throw up a leech seed or to throw up the last wait he did not recover, that was odd. What if he went in the Feral Thorn? If he went in the Feral Thorn, you had to take Iron Bath with your Chanty. It would be annoying for Soul Wind. Oh well. He's just gonna Seismic Toss a few times to make Jade think that he spams it, and eventually he's gonna um, soft bolt, I think. So yeah, early on I saw Thorn had the game, then Jade was kinda bringing it back. I'm not really sure who has the game. You guys can see. <laughs> like, I can't decide 100%. Um, I think the Feral Thorn is super annoying, but Lichid also doesn't have. Infinite, infinite at PP, uh, but least it was hazard, which makes it um, makes it really nice for Jade because Solvent can't really switch around and PP stall each seed because he has to take all them hazards every time. <clears throat> Crest obviously doesn't take spikes because of Levitate, but still, the only thing Crest gets to heal is the Pharaoh, like I mentioned earlier. So if Jade can prevent the, uh, the Cresselia from healing, um, then this game is pretty much in his favor. Like, if Jade is in with his Ferrothorn, I could see later on in the game, if his Ferrothorn is in, um, he might double out into something that can kill the Crest, slash prevent the Crest from healing, which is either Lari or Blisco, obviously his last two months, because um, <clears throat> if he goes for Leech with the Pharaoh or anything else, and the, the Crest still gets to heal, then I think... So Jade might just... <clears throat> Try to catch Solwind on the turn where Solwind might like Solwind might predict the turn where like doubles into Crest, but in the Feral Thorn, like exactly this turn, if he doubled into Cresselia that turn, it would have been Jesus and he would have gone to heal. But he wasn't going to do that. But this is the turn that I'm talk was talking about earlier. Um, I don't think he m he might not go for his Leech Seed. Like I know that he really wants the recovery, but he might not go for Leech Seed because if he goes for Leech Seed here, the Crest gets to heal. Uh, not that it's the end of the world for him, but it's just annoying if the Crest gets to heal. Um, if power up killed, I think power up doesn't kill it. It's like, yeah, it does 17 to 20, so it doesn't kill after rocks. So is he like on a leech seed or double to prevent the crest from healing? I don't think this is the time to get at the third layer of spike. Definitely not. If he even needs the third layer.
If you're throwing here, you probably just click soft boiled. Because I think I think it's a bit too risky to go crest this specific turn. Um, he's probably gonna try. Yeah, he's probably gonna try to sack his ducky. Yeah, yeah, he's probably gonna try to sack his duck trio. Yeah, I, I didn't talk about this before. My bad, guys. Um, if he sacks the ducky, or if he throws the ducky in, then he gets to heal his Cresselia. This is why. This is what I'm talking about. Jade is gonna double to prevent the crest from healing. So he's seismic toss predicting um, the switch. I think he predicted the Ladi. because the Ladi would have died to that with the burn. I would have gone really low at least. Um, so Jade is gonna taunt here. Yeah, yeah, cause like, I completely, I don't want to say messed up, but I didn't talk enough about. So when potentially going into Duck Trio on the, on the Pharaoh Thorn, cause even if it dies, the power like he doesn't really care about it. So he decides to go Crest now, but this is this is gonna. Oh, this is interesting because if he taunts here, he can die to Ice Beam. So this is a. Damn, this is damn. It was a good play by Soulwind. Because now he has him on the 50-50 side. If he gets this correct, he gets this correct and he gets rid of the Glisco. The Glisco is really annoying for him. And the two turns of leftovers that he got to heal um, helped him get rid of the, um, the the rocks damage that he took. Or like basically cancel the rocks damage out. And now he can sack his Duggy. Because his Chansey is too low. So he has to check, sack his Duggy and then he can heal his Chansey back up. Uh, yeah, he got rid of the Glisco, which is one of the Pokemon that could prevent the Chris from healing. So... If you're Jade here, you'll probably go for Recover, predicting the Duggy sack, right? If I go for Recover, I just kill the Duggy. I don't think it makes the biggest difference. But yeah, he got that... I don't want to... I don't want it to 50-50. Jet had to taunt there, I feel. Because he cannot let this heal for free. Because if he switches out, like, this gets to heal anyway if he switches out. I'm not sure if... No, I don't think he can afford to surf. He cannot afford to surf here, right? He's probably gonna Drake... Yeah, Drake will recover, exactly. But this is really nice for Solon because he gets extra leftovers. This is working out so well for Solon. He can win this. Uh, but he sucks his crest. Wow. I really thought that he would've kept it. I thought he just predicted him to not Draco that specific turn and then he would switch on the next turn. But yeah, now he's gonna go Chansey and Softball, I assume. I thought he, I thought he wanted the crest. I guess he didn't want it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Didn't he need crest to win? Like that was weird. I thought he predicted the recover and he wanted to switch after, but he just threw it away. Like I'm not gonna say that I would have played this better or anything. I'm just wondering. Like that, he has made some nice play. Hmm. I just don't know enough about black and white or in general. Um, like it's a semi. F yeah, it's sometimes a World Cup. Like. <laughs> And I've never really been in a uh, tournament, so at least not in like a big tournament. So I, I'm not gonna. S I'm definitely not saying that I could have played this better, or that I, I don't want to talk them down or anything. But I just feel like he needed his crest, right? I'm uh, 43 minutes in, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty much over now. Um, I mean, at first I thought this would be a bit weird, but it was kind of fun to record. Not gonna lie. Um, not, not, like, I might have some flaws in my narration, um, but I didn't really have black and white expert around at the moment that could help me narrate this. Um, is partial online? If partial online, I could, should have asked him for, to, for narration for black and white. Partial's online, hello? I don't know if you can call though, because it's like, um, here it's like, it's like 11 p.m. here in Europe. Uh, so, like, I'm in Germany. So it's, some people cannot call it late, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be able to um, either an attack from the Lari because of the minus two, even if it had Psy Shock, which otherwise would kill. And yeah, Jed is gonna go into he, for recover or, into, or go into Feral Zone, but I think he's just gonna go Feral Zone and Leech Seed here, right? Um, I don't know if Ducktree runs Sucker Punch in black and white, because if Ducktree runs Sucker Punch, he might want his Lari health. Well, let me see if. I know I shouldn't rely on the cult, but the cult says 
The cock set says it doesn't run soccer. But that's probably not, the, not where I should gain my information from. So is it... What's the play for Jade? I think Krakara might be the play then, yeah. But yeah, he doesn't decide to go on the Feral Thorn and he's... Uh, oh my lord, so went the... If someone has a move on the Dagi that kills the Ladi, I think he just... I think he might have just won this game. Because this can't switch out because it dies to spikes and so you can just toss and kill this because Genji outspeeds. And if the Dagi really has a move to kill the Ladi, then someone just won. And he does pick it off, so I'm pretty sure he has a move on Dagi to kill those um, Latios. That's just what makes the most sense to me. Um, oh, this is really low, so yeah, he either has like... Sucker Punch or... I don't know if Reversal would kill from there. I don't think Reversal kills. Yeah, Stone Edge is an option, definitely. Yeah, yeah Stone Edge, okay. That's what the Kalk says it has, and that's what they're saying in the chat, so... I trust the chat and the Kalk here. But he has, he has to have something to kill this, so yeah. Really close game. Definitely an interesting one. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know, like, I'm struggling. I'm struggling a little bit here and there because. Oh, yeah, Sucker Punch. Oh, Jade the God. So I wasn't wrong that Sucker Punch is an option. Mm -hmm. How much does Sucker Punch do? Because this is mind game action. Uh, Ladios. I want to know how much Sucker Punch does from Dougie. I assume Dougie runs Jolly, right? Um, Sucker. Uh, it does 50 to 59, so he's out of range now. Oh, uh, no, never mind. He could be at 59 because of Shodan rounding down. But yeah, he has a pretty high chance to kill. Damn. So that was a, probably a 50 50 at the end there. How much would Stone Edge have done? I'm uh, pretty sure Stone Edge would have killed because this Lottie was. Yeah, this Lottie was low as flip. Yeah, Stone should have killed him. So I guess... I'm not sure if I would have Sucker Punched then. Because Stone would have killed anyway, so Jade either... I think Jade had to bank on this being Sucker to Roost, cause, to recover, because he live, doesn't live Stone anyway. So he had to bank on him either a dodge, slash on this being Sucker Punch, and he does get the Sucker off and Jade lives. So that was 52, so with a high roll he could've, with a max max roll, maybe he could've killed the Ladi, 59.8. But GG and Jade wins, Ladi goes down to life, what a close game. My god. Yeah, feels bad that I messed up a little bit with the narration, but I think it was okay overall. So thank you guys for watching. Um, the score is now 2-0 for Team US East. Um, Jade is on East, uh, Solent is on Spain. And in the other series, it's also the scores 2 and 0 for I think Team Europe versus Team US West. But they've also they've only been played the older gens so far. I will definitely record the RS, the Sun and Moon games, and maybe the Black and White game. So I'll see you guys later. Um, it's gonna be rough for Spain to come back. Uh, I can actually see what games are left here in this series. Zamrock versus Malekith, TDK versus Axel 10, ABR versus K12, uh, John AKA. Um, Brofist vs. Trolls go flank team Reg. So definitely cool games. Uh, probably not gonna cover these three tiers. Or gents, that's what I meant. And yeah, in this Europe series we have Ricardo with Mobali. I really hope they play today, but I don't think that's the case. Um, I think they should have played yesterday, but uh, they delayed. But yeah, have also some cool matchups. I think the games that have been played here is the Void one. I think Void one versus Philip. And I think Coleon versus Lavos. Cholio, Colio, I don't know how to pronounce this, my bad guy if you watch. But yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you later and have a fantastic day. Dokuch signing a goodbye. Hope you enjoyed.